So in this session, you're going to discuss one more problem in Poisson automata that is a power n and b power 2n. So when it is to the power of, it is the number of repetition. So when n value equal to 2, we'll be having 2 a's followed by 2 into 2 is 4, 4 b's. Okay, for each a, we'll be having 2 number of repetition of b. So the language here will consist of the following input. Like when you have a single a, it has to be followed by 2 b's. When you have 2 a, the input will be followed by 4 b's. And it goes on for 3 a's. For 3 a's, 2 power n is 6 b's. And it goes on. Okay, so this is the language representation. So for these kind of languages, we have to construct a push-down automata for it. So the idea behind this is for each A, the input will be scanned from left to right, right? So we have stack as a memory unit. One of the thing that we can do is for each A, it has two corresponding Bs, right? So in the stack, first step is to push this Z0 into stack. And whenever we have A in the input, we'll be pushing two elements into stack. Okay, any element, like for my example, I'm going to have it as an X. So for a single A, I'm going to push two X. So whenever the input consists of B, I can have a transition to the state. And for each B, one X will be cancelled. Okay, so at the end of the input, the stack will be empty. So that is the basic idea. For the next example also, you just consider the same scenario, check whether it is working. So first step, push this Z0 into bottom element of stack. Now first A, you have to push 2x. Second A, push two more x. And whenever B comes, for this B, cancel this x. 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 So at the end of your input, your stack will just have the Z0 element. The input has to be accepted. Okay, so this is going to be the basic idea. And with this idea, we are going to draw a push down automata for it. So here, we'll be having the starting state Q0. We are going to have this Q0 state for pushing all the element into stack. So it is going to have the, uh, going to have, uh, scan the first step set of inputs. From left to right, it, it is going to have, scan the input. For all the LAs, it is going to have the same process. It is going to push the element into stack each and every step. It scan A, push it into stack. Okay. So whenever you're going to start the transition, the first step is to push this Z0 into stack without consuming any of the input symbol. Initially, if stack consists of epsilon, put Z0 into stack. So Z0 is the representation to represent the bottommost element of stack. So this Z0 will be remaining in the stack all the time. So first time, whenever you start the process, we are going to push this Z0 into stack. Okay. And the next step is, you have to understand the logic clearly. For each step of transition, the bottom element of stack, whatever it is, it will be popped out. Okay, so this Z0 will be popped out of stack and one input will be scanned from the, one input will be scanned. Okay, so now A will be removed from the input, stack will be popped out, uh, stack, Z0 will be popped out of stack. Now what we have to do, for this A, we are going to push 2x into stack. So first we have to replace the Z0 and the 2x has to be pushed into stack like this. So the transition can be written as when there is an A in the input and a Z0 in the stack, for this A, 2x has to be pushed and the Z0 that is taken out of the stack has to be replaced back. Totally we are going to push three element into stack. First is Z0 and 2x for this A. Okay, so this is for the first element. And the second element, you will be having n number of A's, right? For all n number of A's, we are going to stay in this Q0 state itself and we are going to scan the input. So next time when I am doing the process, if the next input is also A, for that A, I have to push 2x into stack. And for this step, what happened? This topmost element of stack X will be popped out automatically. Okay, so for the second step on, your topmost element of stack will be x and for this a, you have to push 2x into stack. So how many elements we are going to push back? This x that is popped out has to be replaced back along with that, two more x for this corresponding a has to be pushed into stack. So when the input is a and stack element is x, you're going to push 3x into stack. 
okay so always remember that for each and every step of transition one element will be popped out of stack and we have to do the transition if you want to replace the element back into the stack you have to push it back then you have to do the process okay so this loop will be repeated for all n number of a's for a single a 2x will be automatically pushed into stack each and every step and what will be the next step of transition so next step of transition is once we reach this b so in your input if you start to scan the b what we do if the input is b and stack consists of x for this this for this step also this x will be popped out of stack for each step of transition automatically one element will be popped out of stack so this x will be popped out of stack and we are going to read the input as b for this b this x will be popped out and the remaining element in the stack will remain as it is so we are not going to push any element into stack so we are going to repeat the process for each and every input b we are going to pop out one x out of stack and that will be repeated till the end for this b next x and for this b next x and for this b next x will be popped out so finally at what happened once you reach the end of input if your stack consists of z not alone that is your accepting criteria it actually means that your input is in the form of 2 power a, sorry a power n b power 2n condition so we are going for the accepting state okay so when my input consists of epsilon all the inputs are processed and stack consists of z not we can pop out this z not out of stack and go to accepting state okay so this is the transition diagram for a power n b power 2n so i'll show you an instant it is description for it for your better understandability so we'll take one example one example input and start the transition from starting state i'll show you how it is actually working so we'll take the input as we'll start the transition from q not when the input is a b b okay i'll have two a four b's okay a uh, n value equal to 2 and whenever i start the transition your stack will be empty so first step is to put this z not into stack and second step is for each a you're going to push so this a will be taken out here and we are going to push 2x into stack okay so next step is again you're going to have a in the input so whenever you have a in the input so for that corresponding a two more x will be pushed into stack so totally will be having four x in the stack now in the input is b in q not when the input is b in q not we are going to have the transition change from q not to q1 so for this b this x will be cancelled so we'll be having three b's and three x in z in stack okay so now when the input is b and stack consists of x for this this will be cancelled so you'll be having 2b 2x z will remain in this q1 state itself for this b this x will be cancelled 1b 1x z not will be there in stack and for this b this x will be cancelled so it is the looping criteria for all your a uh, looping state will remain in this q1 itself for all the b 1x will be popped out of stack now at the end of input now all the inputs are processed right the last b is also cancelled so we reach the end of input and your stack consists of z dot we are going for the accepting criteria so q1 when the inputs are processed when z dot alone is in their stack you can remove the z dot and accept the input okay so here at the end of input your stack is empty input is accepted similarly at the end of input your transition is in final state the input is accepted so it is two way acceptance the input will be accepted at the end of input either stack is empty or your we are reaching your final state okay in both the cases the input will be accepted so this accepts the input in both the ways okay so this is how we solve a pushdown automata problem for a power n and b power 2n thank you